how was it when you came back? So then now when you came back, okay, made your first trip, what were your next moves after you came back now? Well, my next move was, I, I still had it in my mind, I want to learn more about the behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah, I was just intrigued by engineering, you know. One thing used to intrigue me in the studio was, you know, when them say punching the artist. Yeah. I used to always wanted to learn that. Because mm-hmm. I used to marvel at it, you know. Them say, okay, uh, come again, rewind, I'm going to punch you in from mm-hmm. right there, sir. Mm-hmm. Mr. say, yo, do we owe them time it and... And even when they're playing it back, you know, you know, glitch. Me, I say, yo, I want to learn to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was more where your mind was at because you went through the song, played song. You're in the artist's life. Yeah, you're living it. That's cool. But you still have another desire to you want to learn engineering yes, and man. producing and stuff like that. More I learn engineering, more I become a producer and, mm-hmm. you know, so... Having the buzz with the name and we are perform all over the place and I travel and I do this and I do that and mm-hmm. you know we met the great Steely and Cleavy. Yeah. You know, me and Wayne Wanda actually it's so funny, you know. Back mm-hmm. then producers used to come find you, you know. Mm-hmm. When there's a buzz about you, you know, mm-hmm. producer come find you. Yeah. I will see this. About six big ninja bike, boom, boom, boom. Cause them tend to steal. He's a biker. Yes. The Silver Hawk crew. Mm-hmm. Him, Balsley. I cannot. I, can, I will never forget. It was him, Balsley, Jerry, mm-hmm. and couple more man. Mm-hmm. And them ride come, boom, 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 boom. On the bridge and them ask a man, yo, we are look for a youth named Freddy. And back then the mother now just say, yeah, see him there. Yeah. Cause I don't want to. Who this? Yeah. And I'm a virgin where pass away. You know. Rest in peace. The man said, Yeah, man, I bought him live, but I owe you know. I said, No, man, I saw so and so, Silver Hawk Sound and Steely and blah, blah, blah. So I hear them say that now. I say, Yo! And them right, come up. They look a truck in front of my yard. They saw. Mm-hmm. And me and my reason, I said, Yeah, man, are you and Wayne wonder where I try to find? And I said, Well, we and live down the street, you know. Mm-hmm. Right? And him said, I said, All right, here are. What are your youth? Can ride with me and a second man, I rest a man them stay here so mm-hmm. we'll go for Wayne Aye. and come back. And when Wayne come back, we sit down from the veranda. Mm. Yeah man. When Steely came look for you guys now, Steely, what was it what was your intention? What was the plan when he came looking for you guys? What did he want to do with you guys? He want he want record cause Wayne wanted the art artist. Mm-hmm. The hot sensation. He got the boss now. He's half the boss. So yeah. he now if you look for producer again, mm-hmm. producers are come. Mm-hmm. Producers are send messages. We need to find a youth. We need to find a way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he was he was at the point now where he could have said, "I don't want a record for that producer, then, but I got a record for him." Got you. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it was it was a recording relationship. But then over time, I became so interested in the whole behind the scenes thing, and I'm talking to Steely. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, Steely, boy, I learned all of this, you know. And he must say, yeah, for real? Yeah. So it happened that every morning he used to ride come from Upper Barbican. Mm-hmm. He used to come pick me up down at Kirk. Me and him in the studio when mm-hmm. we and all our record. He might teach me engineering. Steely? Yes, man. Right. Him, they have a little M1, a little keyboard that he was a Yamaha. Mm-hmm. I'm used to work with that. Come on, I learn everything. Mm-hmm. Cleavy has shown me certain things from the drum machine, the Akai yeah. drum machine back then. Them time, the Bulby and Fata, mm-hmm. you know, the, you know, engineer, yeah. but they were young in the business. Not as big as them is now. I mean, I learned certain things from them off a pan and you understand what I mean? So did you actually record any music for Steely or you yeah, were more in, you recorded for Steely? We record for Steely and Cleavy. Me and Wayne wanna record about ten combination songs. What? For Steely and Cleavy. And I and as far as the information that we got, that album was released, I think in the Asia Pacific mm-hmm. rims them place. Mm-hmm. And I recorded three singles. Mm. I was on the taxi. The, his, 
he had a, he had a, a, a version of a taxi called the limousine. Yes. I'm on that. Mm-hmm. I'm on that rhythm. Rapping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And we did a song which it was it was it had a big buzz in Jamaica called um Dream Girl. I think I remember that song, yes. Yeah, we didn't want to do that mm-hmm. one day. And the next one, we didn't want to say, I always feel like somebody's watching me. <laughs> you know? So we recorded a f- quite a few songs for Steely and Cleavy. Okay. Quite a few songs. Yeah. But my head was still in the production side. In the engineering and in production. The engineering and, yeah. you know, just, just learning. I want to learn more about what makes a song from the beginning to where mm-hmm. it is? What did Steely tell you? What were some of the times you could remember sitting down, talking with Steely, certain things he said to you that to this day you'll never forget? One well, of the main things Steely said to me, Steely said, as a person in the business, mm-hmm. you know less than the next man. Which mean, don't go in a no studio, don't go around no artist and talk like you know more than the next man. Mm-hmm. Because you don't know where that man know. You don't know where that man can do. The man said, make sure your brain is a sponge. That is why when we used to go to a studio, we used to sit in a studio yard. Mm-hmm. I'm just observe and take in everything. Mm-hmm. When I still expose me to people like Dennis Brown, Gregory Isaacs, you know, Shabba Rankin, n- name, name the artist them. Yeah. He exposed me to those men. So would you say you were like almost like an apprentice or not even that? He was I a was still his apprentice. Yeah. That's what he used to call me, my apprentice. That is why... You remember when you called me mm-hmm. and you said you, you saw the picture? Yes, okay. You know what? Let me talk about let me talk about this picture here now. This picture that I saw had you, yeah. as in Freddy, Wayne Wonder, Steely Cleavy, General Degree, Garnet Silk, um, Nardo Rankin, Nardo, um, Bulby, Fata, Fata um, and Roger, Roger Roots, I think his name was, is in yes. that picture. Yeah. Tell me, tell me how that came about. Because that's a epic picture, boss. Yeah, that, you know, I don't even know who took yeah. that picture. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All I know it was, yeah. where, if you notice in that picture, mm-hmm. Steely and Cleavy was sitting down yes. around the mixing console. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting beside Cleavy mm-hmm. because I was Steely's apprentice. So I said, grab a chair and come sit down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Enough days, we in wonder, I do film thing wherever, whichever studio, mm-hmm. and me among Steely. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And we were just in the studio, Garnet Silk no boss yet. Garnet Silk just come a country, Tony Rebel, come from country, Tony Rebel. Yeah. See? And we were just, that was just mixing lab studio, where we used to just. Okay, it was mixing lab. Steely and Cleavy used to work out of mixing lab. Mm-hmm. Right? And we were just at the studio vibing. And somebody said, group picture. Yeah. And the picture snapped. And it, it just got into the earth. Mm-hmm. Crazy. When I seen it, again, as I said, we've been linking for years. When it came to promotions, you come link us with tickets. When we in Wayne Wonder or any of them are in town, you say, yo, come, let's, whatever the case is. But when, when I seen that picture, it just, it was like a lightning bolt hit me. I said, hold on. Freddy, bro, I had to link you after I seen that picture. I said, yo, me and Freddy, we have to sit down and talk. You yes, understand? Man. That's an epic picture, man. Epic. Cool. When first time my son saw that picture, I was like, dad, yeah. is that you? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. He's like, but is that like garnet silk? Garnet silk? They re- I'm going to say, yeah, that's garnet silk before he's garnet silk. Mm-hmm. And he's like, wow. And he's like, oh, when? And then he started... And I'm like, yeah, because mm-hmm. my son is musically inclined to, you know. Yeah. Back then, okay. So, Steely, now, because talking to artists, you get a different version of Steely than if you're talking to producers. Yes. When you talk to artists, he almost 
comes across as a bully or a tough love. You understand? But talking to producers and engineers, it's slightly different. What was your experience dealing with him? Or did you see Steely really become that monster with an artist or something like that? I saw both sides of him. Mm -hmm. You know? And I saw sides of him that I had to step back and say, whoa. Mm -hmm. Because I used to see him do a lot of things for people Mm -hmm. who were on the... We just say the bottom of the food chain. Mm-hmm. And he used to do so much and nobody not know about it. Mm-hmm. And he used to always say to me, if you have a help, help and not look no glorification from it. Right? But then when it comes to recording mm-hmm. and I deal with some artists, mm-hmm. you see that energy, a burst of energy. Yeah. And it's a man where we just in the middle of a recording, just stop it and say, yo, yeah, yeah, me, shoot the session, done. Yeah. If certain things now go how him envision it. Yeah. But then, you have the next side of him now where when it comes to the playing, the instruments and rhythm-wise, mm-hmm. the, you see the genius in him. When he play all the keyboard, I see him shot him iron. Mm-hmm. And feel it. And him Feel the music. Mm-hmm. And it was a great bike rider. Yeah. Motorcycle. When I say great, great. Mm-hmm. Crazy, great old Steely and Cleavy. Steely. Do you actually get to record a full session or a song or anything with Steely as in you're the producer, you're the engineer? Or more or less you were overlooking and seeing what he was doing? Overlooking. Mm-hmm. And he would say, okay, um, you're going to take advice here. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Because I, I, I can remember when one session when they recorded um, Singing Melody, mm-hmm. my good, good friend, Singing Melody, yeah. recorded, um, what's the name of the song again? Shower me with your love. I was one of the engineers working on that session <laughs> with Steely. Yeah. And we and one that recorded Still Say Yes. Mm-hmm. You know? Like punching in and, you know, yeah. Steely was, he was the, the artist. He might tell the artist what to do. Mm-hmm. But he might turn to me and say, okay, Freddy, rewind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rewind. And he say, okay, cue it, write the song. And he say, okay, punch it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, take the voice then. And I learned a lot from Fata and Bolby. That's what I was just about to say, because I know Fata was also another apprentice of Steely at yeah. this time here. So it was more or less, it was Steely Cleavy. You? Steel and Cleaver were the producers. Yes. And they used to work at Mixing Lab. Mm-hmm. But as far as I can remember, Fata and, and Bulby were the exclusive engineers where they used to work with. Got it. So, if I go book the studio, every time you go there, I just demand their work. Mm-hmm. So that's how I got to know Fata and, and mm-hmm. Bulby. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusica.com.